Hi everyone, this is Deborah from Cream City Angels, and today I'm working in Photoshop Elements 9. Um, I've had a lot of questions um, over the last few years um, about combining digis and how it's done, so I'm going to show how it's done, a one way to do it, how I do it in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open all the digis I want to use. So I have a pitcher and two flowers. Um, it's important that you select um, the ping files. P and G are the, is the extension. And usually ping files um, have a transparent background. So that becomes really important when you're combining it into Photoshop. You need a transparent background. So I'm going to select the picture and hold down the shift key and select the rows. And I will open all three in Photoshop all at the same time. Next I'm going to create my base layer and I'm going to select new and blank file. I'm going to name it picture of flowers. Okay and um, you can set the size. Um, I have it as 11 by 11 inches. Um, you can change this to centimeters or millimeters or pixels whatever you feel more comfortable in. Um, and then a really important thing is that the background is transparent. Um, I plan to, and here is my background um, and my first layer um, for this new ping file that I'm going to create. So I'm going to, this pixelated um, pattern here means it's transparent, so that's good. Now um, all you have to do in Photoshop is drag your digi onto your um, your base layer. Then it's already highlighted and you can see these handles. You can So you can scale it and move it all in one. I'm going to scale it down a little bit more. And then you have this pop-up with this check mark and the cancel feature. So if you don't like the what, what you did, how you scaled it, you can cancel it and it will go back to the original size. Or you can accept it. So I'm going to accept it, and um, next I'm going to drag some of the cherry blossoms in. And I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to scale it. There's a lot of great things that you can do in Photoshop um, without even switching tools. Um, so you can move it, and there's a little circle down here, which means rotate, and I'm going to rotate it just a bit. So you can move it, scale it, and rotate it, and I'm going to accept. So now I have one cluster of cherry blossoms and I'd like another one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the layer box here and here I have um, the cluster of cherry blossoms. I'm going to right click and duplicate layer. Now it just says, um, you know, cherry blossom cluster copy. So that's good. So now I have two layers of cherry blossoms. Um, you can't see the second one at the moment because it's directly on top of the first one. So I'll just hide one of them and then I'm going to modify the other one. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to flip it. So I'm going to use this drag tool right on the side and I'm going to flip it to the other side. Now the aspect ratio was not maintained. Um, it should be 100% by 100%. Um, all you have to do is highlight this and type in 100 and now it's the exact same scale as the one on the other side and I'll accept. So now you have two clusters of um, cherry blossoms. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to drag this rose right in the middle here and I want to scale it, maybe scale it a little bit more and position it down. So now I have Except, So I have two cherry blossoms and a rose. And you can see that the rose is behind. All you have to do to get it in front is to go to your layer box and drag it, drag it up. So now it's in front. So now I have the cherry blossoms and the roses. The only thing is, is it looks like it's in front of the picture. And I want to look inside the picture 
look like the stems are inside the picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide two of the layers of the flowers and I'm going to start with the rose and I'm going to highlight that layer and I'm going to select the erase tool and you can change the size um, this is probably about right that circle there is how big um, your eraser is so what I'm going to do is I have the layer selected um, that's the great thing about layers it'll only erase on the layer that you have selected so if um, you know, I have the roses selected, so I'm going to erase the stems on the rose all the way up to the rim, just like that. Now I'm going to hide this one and switch to the cherry blossoms. All right, I'm still in the erase mode, so uh, and I have I need to select that layer, so I only erase on that layer, and I'm going to select the stem and erase up to the rim. Then I'm going to hide that layer and go to the next. Select the layer. I'm still in erase mode. I'm going to erase the stem up to it. And you can see I can erase all over this picture and it doesn't do anything because um, we're on the cherry blossom layer. So now when I unhide everything, now it looks like all the flowers are in the picture. Now, um, all you have to do now, you can merge these la layers. I usually just leave them um, and save the Photoshop session in case I ever want to modify it again. It'll keep all the layers and I can move things around or change the arrangement. Um, so just to create a new ping file with a transparent background of this image, all you have to do is go to File and I'm going to Save As and it already remembered that I had named it Picture of Flowers and I'm just going to select a ping file. Um, ping files, um, like I had said before, they keep the transparent background so if you're going to use it with other digis you should save it as a ping. If you're just going to print it out you could save it as a JPEG and just hit OK and that's all there is to it. I hope you um, enjoy this tutorial. Thanks so much.